Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. It's gl I'm glad to be able to produce something for my channel again. If you guys have suggestions, so this is from Team Liquid, by the way. Old replay from 2012. In the upper right-hand corner, corner, we have none other than Flash himself. Starting as the Teal Terran, bottom right-hand corner, we have Queen, aka Zero, starting as the Purple Zerg. This is on Electric Circuit, which uh, was played in a bit of an area that I'm not familiar with. At least I don't remember this map off the top of my head. You've got a pretty wide natural expansion. But, and you can see the mineral patches down below. Standard 8 mineral patches, pretty wide. Not that far away, you have another base down here, although it has kind of a staggered 7 mineral patch. But also, behind the base, you've got a mineral only that has just 5 patches. But you do have the uh, side disruptor here that can be taken out, which opens up a back door. So it reminds me a little bit of something like Medusa, but not precisely. Looking at the statistics on this map before starting, there was a 55% win rate. This is, however, Flash in 2012 at the height of his powers. Which I was actually... I watched the first couple minutes of this replay, and I was so blown away, I think it just sent me in a tailspin, so I had to restart it, because I was missing a bit of the action. Front door steel grouping up, but... One of the things I brought up in the, the first run through is... Would you say that the Flash at the height of his powers was here in the 2012 era? or when he was doing the random run. Because he went pretty deep with random. So is, it's kind of an argument, is it depth in the single being an amazing Terran that makes him the best player of all time? Or is it how far he can go playing literally every race and having a massive amount of success with reaver play and things like that? Kind of questions and puzzles that I put out to the comment section. By the way, let me know if there's a game you want me to do Let's Plays of or things like that because I am looking for other content to do so I can produce stuff for you guys uh, to stay entertained, because I enjoy doing it, like having it out here. Anyway, additional drone scouting to the bottom left. One issue for Zerg on this map is, is Terran can grab this additional base back here, but also you gotta have, you, you have that question of, okay, what's your third gas gonna be? Are you gonna take it close? Are you gonna take it far? Overlord discovering the upper right-hand base initially here. Other problem for Flash is, is this is a spawn location which forces a front door seal with a barracks on the exterior which means to get the marines in a more comfortable position he needs to lift the barracks up which means additional early zerglings could be a problem actually i'm realizing you might can you escape the marine i'm wondering if you can bring the scv back here and click on the mineral patches to escape them from the base through the rear 12 hatch here four queen does have a spawning pool and grabbing that mineral only third rather than going for a third base. And this is again where I I don't know what era this is as far as the meta. I think this might be pre-111, but I'm not entirely sure. And there's a bit of shock that I have in this replay as well. I kind of grabbed it at random, but uh, I'll leave that to be a surprise in a couple minutes here. Now I feel like I'm being teasy. It's like, just, just you guys wait. <laughs> I had to, caught me so off guard that I had to like restart it. Anyway, refinery being built in Flash's main, he's got a, the command center being built as well. Here's that marine problem. He did lift up to go ahead and get that initial marine in. There are long enough rush distances, and it looks like Zero is only building an, two initial Zerglings. So long enough rush distances that I don't think this is going to get punished. But it is a nuisance, and it does leave these units a little bit more exposed. You can see Flash lifting up to go ahead and get them up. Looks like that SCV was able to wander up to the north to at least confirm that that third base is interior. Now Zero's going to have issues where it's kind of like, okay, Terran gets a free third base, so I'm assuming Mutalisk play will be the, uh, just because there's so much territory to cover, if you do try to grab that third, and there's actually quite a bit of distance between the main and the natural expansion. So we've got a factory, but at the same time, in the upper right-hand corner, a little bit hidden, we have an academy. So it looks like there's going to be a shift Potentially to do some pseudo 1-1-1 one, one, one play, maybe early drops. Kind of interested to see early drops on this map. But this does also leave the possibility open for movement towards Valkyrie play. Either the fantasy style build, or a build that is a little bit more modern with uh, the Valkyries to potentially counter Mutalisks. So Lair morphing up with the in-base in 3 hatch. So I definitely am expecting 3 hatch Mutalisks, especially because we've got that second gas online. Zerglings surrounding that marine. It looks like a fourth base, or a fourth, yeah, fourth base. I was hesitant to say fourth base initially. Is going to be taken in the upper left-hand corner by Queen. <coughs> in the meantime, Starport, second barracks online. 
medics are joining the fray. So this is my curiosity where potentially we're going to see a drop. And, le and with leaving this front door very exposed, potentially, but with the Mutalisks, that would be a hard counter. Armory going up, so this definitely leads to believe that, yes, we are indeed going to see Valkyries. And this is where I was flabbergasted. So here's that three barracks, three barracks play. So what we are seeing here is some, some riff on what is the modern du jour Terran build that I initially saw JYJ do. And this is Flash doing it, <coughs> excuse me, back in 2012. <clears throat> in the meantime, Queen, not just grabbing the upper left base, is grabbing the bottom left as well. So this is going to be five bases. And I think this might be because of the spawn location in the upper right and having all those medics exposed. So Queen feeling like, okay, Queen Flash has to play more defensively for two reasons. One, my Mutalist play. But also secondarily, because of the way that barracks lines up. So he's going to have trouble stopping any sort of economic aggression on my part. Initial nine Mutalisks taking flight. A little bit delayed. So not quite at the 630 mark off the three bases, and again, I think the these hatcheries out in play. But Queen already staging up to grab the six o'clock as well. So just doing Queen things. So this is six bases at the 630 minute mark, plus several Mutalisks being constructed. Very greedy play from Queen. Now the question for Flash is, is can he play Whack-A-Mole? Initial Valkyries being produced, two Marines dying out on the front, getting a little bit too aggressive out there. The Valkyrie Marine Medic combo, though, is fairly strong at dealing with Mutalisks initially, so might be able to mitigate play, but Flash has the problem where he needs to defend the main. Needs to defend the main and stop some of these bases before Queen just surges too far out of control. Overlord's going to get picked off, which should put Queen, at least supply block Queen briefly. The Marines, I like that play. A um, nice play on Queen to kill that Medic. But the Marines streaming down to protect the Valkyries against the Mutalisk engagement to ensure an Overlord dying. Now Queen, you can see, having trouble taking pot shots, especially with the grouped up Mutalisk, waiting for Scourge to join the fray before he wants to re-engage. Some Zerglings off position. The Valkyries a little bit out of position, taking a little bit of shot, one eating a single... Scourge right there, but now the Marines streaming down, and these Mutalisks will not be sufficient to defend the bottom left. So this is at least 350, probably 400 with that drone kill, and an Overlord going to die over that edge. Queen breaking off, however, not going to engage that attack force, particularly because he's got this third gas upper left, and he's got the 6 o'clock location in the wings. So grouping up saying, you can't possibly have enough reinforcements to deal with all of my Mutalisks. The Valkyrie severely damaged. Just a tap away, going to be repaired by the SCV on the line. The Marines starting to draw back. Such a huge amount of territory to cover. The Marines, looks like just six Marines going to take care of that drone and that hatchery bottom left, but this leaves the main very exposed. There are no turrets to defend and no Marines at the main of Flash, and he's only running off two bases. In the meantime, Queen up to 41 drones behind this. The Scourge, I think connecting with the Valkyrie behind this, <laughs> so, Flash evacuating all the SCVs. The Valkyrie that's... I think that was a spawning Valkyrie going... Rejoining Chase. This is four Valkyries out in the air. Now back down to three. Medic Marine Ball still in mid-map. This is enough Mutalisks now that they're separated from the Valkyries. Although they're heavily damaged, still should be sufficient to kill this Medic Marine Force. But Flash drawing them back. You can see he's hunting for them mid-map. Able to find them now. Engaging. But looks like the Valkyrie's able to sprint in last second to protect that Medic Marine Ball and get another Overlord kill. So Queen, once again, supply blocked at 77 supply. However, at 43 drones overall. Six o'clock base, not even mining gas. Some Hide Wilsks are now in the upper left-hand corner. I believe we have Lurkers potentially on deck. Evolution Chamber down in the main. This is a huge economy for Queen. If he can just hold, he'll be in excellent position to win things long term because his economy is just going to be unbelievably strong but being forced right now to roll back to it looks like some combination of hydro lurk to deal with flash some creep colonies being dropped to provide some defense i'm not sure if flash realizes 
that additional bases are up, and SCV is going to scout the upper left-hand corner and find out immediately. Nilo still trying to create some separation between these Marines to allow the Scourge to land on those Valkyries, but the Valkyries remain stalwart and alive. Now a complete redirection of all of the Marines to the upper left. There are two Lurkers here, three Lurkers, soon to be five. They're going to rush to the corner. Now, keep in mind, because of that Valkyrie production, that had that slowed down Science Vessels, so hold position Lurker could be brilliant here if they burrow in time. I don't know that there's enough... Well, there might be enough Medic Marine to drop a solid comp set and just punch through this. <clears throat> there's the initial drop. One Lurker gone. Second Lurker to the south going to get taken out. Keep in mind, there's still another Lurker or two behind this. Overlord a little bit exposed. Zerglings running up and more Lurkers coming from cross map to help defend this. So Flash isn't going to be able to take out this base in the upper left and losing a lot of Medic Marines. Scourger mid map, some Vultures now joining the fray, looking to hunt down, but there's Sunken Colonies here at the 6. There is also another Sunken Colony. Sorry, Sunken Colonies at the Natural Expansion, also Sunken Colonies at the 6 to provide some protection there as well. Flash has grabbed the five Misly min Mineral Patches there at location. Let's see if he wanders out and takes some additional territory. Floating barracks everywhere and immediately switching to mech. <coughs> Are you kidding me with this? Four factories being dropped. Lurker's mid-map, so doing a very rapid transition, realizing that he, he needs something heavy. Especially because Queen's already at 44 drones saturated across five bases with hive tech a defiler mount being built shortly in order to stay in this match he needs to get all sort well needs mines out on the field needs siege tanks needs to hit harder lurkers out in front and now those barracks and i like how he on that decision immediately lifts these barracks off to just be scouts out on the map queen burrowing forward to keep the medic marines that are latently out there pinned back Look at this mine coverage in the meantime by Flash to prevent additional movement. So Overlord speed's going to be necessary. Looks like Ventral Sacks also being upgraded there by Queen <coughs> to, I think, recognizing the mech change. And I'm curious if we're going to see Queen go Queens in this map. Flash, with the mine coverage... <coughs> excuse me. Still have a bit of a cough. Grabbing the command center at the 3 o'clock location towards Queen. Mutalisks are still here. They got a lot of health as well. So keep in mind that's not beyond a reasonable doubt that they could once again be a factor, especially once they hit full health again. But as things stand, Flash has Queen boxed up momentarily. Large group of Medic Marines starting to engage the six. Lurker's going to eat all sorts of mines as they try to burrow their way across. Wow, brilliant placement. So they're not going to be able to help defend here. And the single Lurker not going to be sufficient to deal with all of the troops here. So this base going to be felled as Queen's taking the natural expansion in the upper left. The Mutalists, I think, might have been able to respond to provide some additional defense, but they are remaining. Maybe Queen's lost track of them. They're remaining in base. <laughs> and the mines causing all sorts of havoc for Queen out on the front. So 6 o'clock locations wiped out. Streams of Vulture is going to again test that upper left, it looks like. Some Zerglings streaming across. Let's see, are they just going to try to dash across? No, they're just mining it in. So Flash's game plan from here is use the fact that Vultures really can't be held in base. So they can just wander out, get mines absolutely everywhere, and then box, yeah, just get those vultures out there, box Queen in, and take territory ab absolutely everywhere else. And play the mineral efficiency game from there. Grabbing the 12 o'clock no location now. Gonna get that gas up. Does have double machine shop and double armory whirling. And I take it back, I missed these two factories back here. This is going to be four machine shops, so that's a lot of siege tanks. Eight factories total. <coughs> Still got that cough. I am so tired of coughing, y'all. Sick of having this cough. I missed the Guardian Morph. That's what happened to those Mutalisks. 
<clears throat> the Valkyrie's going to be able to push up and take care of them. However, that is going to disrupt that 3 o'clock base. Ultralis Cavern is up, though. And I kind of agree with uh, Day9 made this sentiment where... You're saying, like, in the mech races versus Terran, when you go Ultralis, it's almost like you're maximizing the damage because you have mines that absolutely obliterate <coughs> everything, and you have siege tanks that do full damage to Ultralisk. So really, Zergling Hydra was what he recommended, and I kind of agree with that sentiment. It just ends up being a little bit more cost-efficient, especially if you can get Plague and uh, Dark Swarm. But with those Valkyries coming back into the fray, able to wipe out all those Guardians, Flash re-establishing that 3 o'clock, one Guardian going to cycle back that direction. Zergling starting to wander out, and this is kind of, yeah, where it comes... <coughs> this is where you need the Hydralis alongside the Zerglings to be able to bully those Vultures back. Vultures do not trade well versus Hydralisks, but the Zerglings, if they can flood out, they can do that. They're basically cheap and efficient mine, uh, mine detectors because they just wander across there and get absolutely obliterated. Dark Swarm drop here at the 3 o'clock location. And that plus the Lurker, even though an Overlord is lost, is going to absolutely wipe everything out. But this is what's crazy to me. Queen took, what, six bases to start? <coughs> but look at the supplies. 172 versus 140. Flash way ahead. And is now starting to siege the upper left. Had the siege shank line. <coughs> Missed that establishment. In the upper left. Is threatening that upper left-hand corner. Now Swarm being dropped. But wow, look at those mines. Clearing everything out. The siege tanks trying to clear out the lurkers there at the 3 o'clock. All sorts of vultures in the wings to cut off reinforcements in the form of zerglings. Looks like a plague landed on some of the goliaths to clear out top left. There's still some mines in between. So Queen is going to hold that. Looks like Flash is going to be able to reestablish at 3 o'clock. Now at the 17 minute mark, Fla uh, Flash has just a tad bit of minerals left at the main. The natural expansion looking to He's effectively running on three bases. But look at all this mech. And it's got plus two weapon, plus one armor. Valkyrie's actually sitting inside Queen's base. I'm wondering how many overlords it was able to kill in that position. So getting some nice latent scouting. As far as the upgrades go, level two carapace is there for Queen as well, but he's 50 supply down. And Flash is going to open up that side disruptor because of those siege takes. It actually does splash on the side disruptors, which means the stacking isn't quite as effective. It's easier to take them down. So that back door now open, and it's going to be a hop, skip, and a jump to the main. However, there's a counterattack for Queen at the 12 o'clock location. Some lur just really small attack of lurkers. Queen in the red. Vultures diving in to this third. Going to be able to take out drones and might even be able to cycle the way to the main and do and strike additional damage there. There's still siege tanks not that far from sieging that natural in the upper right. So drones are scattering from the main. This is essentially putting Queen down to I'm going to say well, four and a half bases. That's still a lot of bases. Wow, this map has a lot of minerals. Ultralisk spawning now should help deal with these vultures. That is a lot of <coughs> ultras, but you can see with the mines planted how rapidly they die. And the Siege Shakes just, yeah, obliterate them. There's so much damage. It's hilarious to watch because they just kind of wander up and they just immediately splorch. It's like dropping a sledgehammer on a really big cockroach. Quite the visual. Furious Battle still at the 12 o'clock location. Siege Shakes and Goliaths having trouble dealing with the Dark Swarm and Zerglings that are cycling their way through. Queen getting a little bit unlucky because just on the corner edge, the siege tank splash managing to deal with those zerglings. A siege tank line established over that natural expansion that Queen does need to worry about because that creates essentially just a funnel line. Looks like he's going to... Wow, look at this. Moving up zerglings to bomb this in the meantime. I love seeing this. And I feel like this isn't deployed as much as it should be. I'm also waiting to see Queens because we got this Queen's Nest as well. More Zerglings being loaded up. However, Goliath's now joining the fray to provide some anti-Overlord defense. And now this starts looking like a siege wall where Flash can just drop Comsat <coughs> over the wall and obliterate from there. Siege tanks regrouping to start working away at the top left. I don't know that there's a Nidus Canal between either location as well. 
to provide reinforcements. So it's basically every base for itself right now as far as defense goes. Some Ultralists with Dark Swarm on location. However, Mines really softening them up. And that Dark Swarm does do a decent amount of displacement. So it looks like those Siege Tanks are going to be cleared to the north. Some Zerglings waiting in the wings with some Lurkers and Ultralists hiding in that Dark Swarm to again take out that 12 o'clock location. Flash can't afford to lose this. Looks like he snuck a base both at the 9 and 8 o'clock locations in the meantime, by the way. And is just relying on the fact that Queen's low on supply and can't counter him. And has to deal with the Siege Tank Goliath line on his ridge. So Queen basically ignoring this establishment line. Well, ne never mind. That Zergling's moving up. Ultralist's going to be able to deal with that. But Flash is putting on... Just showing what a master he is at this match. And it's a one, and it's a testament to Queen that he's still in this at all. So Queen desperately trying to defend upper left and forays into his base and deal with additional expansions that Queen is now... Or that Flash is starting to establish across the map. So 3 o'clock location, 12 o'clock location, 9 and 8. And Flash is just relying on his aggression to be his defense. Queen hurting for resources right now. Because the main emptied... Spending a lot of resources on Ultralists. Is he going to just do Ultra Drops? He's going to do Ultra Drops to deal with this. Potentially. Goliath wandering in. Queen needs to defend this bottom right. This is where all of his tech is. Losing that Evolution Chamber could hurt a lot. <coughs> Loses the depleted gas, but is he just going to rebuild top left? Is my next question. Looks like no. He does want to make an attempt at dealing with this. His reposition. The Goliaths are out of position. To deal with the overlords that are now going to drop on the high ground. So Ultralis is landing. Going to be able to wipe that out. But Zerglings have managed to breach the 12 o'clock location. Vulture's trying to sweep in to deal with them. So Flash losing a base. It looks like a single Zergling able to disrupt the 9 o'clock. And Ultralisks and Zerglings able to disrupt the 8 o'clock. So in a single sweep. Queen able to defend, repel... And wipe out Flash's economy. Flash basically only mining at the 3 o'clock and the interior 9 o'clock. It looks like he's just now reestablishing mining at the 12 o'clock. And more drops now of Zerglings a bit at a time to frustrate Flash at the 12. All of a sudden, the tables have turned. Zero is up 30 supplies, has managed to reestablish defensive lines with Ultralist drops that are starting to move out to potentially drop and engage that 3 o'clock. More Zerglings are streaming out from the upper left-hand corner, although there's no sunken colonies here. So Flash may be seizing on this opportunity. Reinforcement streaming across is going to be able to take out this precious gas. Units exploding as they're coming out of the Nidus Canal. Zerglings trying to clear mines along the way to allow the Ultralist to do their work to get on top of the siege tanks. Ultralist redropping here at the... This is insane. At the th 3 o'clock base, so wiping out units there. Dark Swarm going to allow the Ultralist a bit of a reprieve, but it looks like Zero is going to end up losing control of everything in the upper left. And I'm sorry if I slip between saying Zero and Queen here and there. I'll try to just say Queen moving forward. So these bases, which are fresh, 4-0 potentially going to get lost. Overlords with Ultralis potentially on the way to defend. But this is a lot of mech on the way. With level 3 weapons, Zerglings here to save the day, pushing through. Able to close the gap, more drops. Never mind, a bit of fake. They're trying to get these siege tanks to unsiege along the way. However, now Ultralisks are going to be on location. Looks like they're waiting to decide where to drop. Dropping right there to deal with the initial forward 3. Additional... I love seeing it. Ultralist drops. Just the visual of like a, a, a the thing the size of an elephant dropping out of like whatever these look like. I just love the concept of it. <clears throat> However, Flash has reestablished all of the mining across the bottom left-hand side of the map. So, Z so Queen still holds the upper left. Lost a lot of drones at the natural. Is still mining way happily at the 6 o'clock. Reestablished mining at the natural. He's going to retake to get that little bit of minerals at the 3. Flooding into the 12 o'clock location with the Zerglings. Despite all just being flush with minerals across the map, both players having trouble getting their supplies established. Sitting around the 100 mark again at the 24 minute mark. 
these overlords need to get out of dodge because there's a lot of Goliaths <coughs> potentially on location to hunt them down. More Zerglings being produced upper left. Ultralists and Zerglings attacking that undefended 9 o'clock base. It looks like two Lurkers also out of an Overlord forcing a lift off here at the 8 o'clock. And Queen looks to be able to defend the upper left-hand bases. Well, maybe. Has a lot of resources. Is going to have to mostly spend it on Zerglings because a little bit gas crushed right this second. But hasn't lost any drones here at location yet. Looks like the command center's floated off to the side for Flash at the 9. He's remining at the 3 o'clock. Remining at 12 o'clock. But it doesn't look like he's... Queen just somehow has defended this over and over again. Just throwing Zerglings like bullets. Feels like all hands on... This feels like the... Not even a sinking ship sort of situation. It's just like throw everything off deck to deal with the pirates that are trying to get on board. More Overlord's going to be taken out at the 12 o'clock, however. Queen still sitting within 5 supply, which usually gives advantage to the mech. Flash re-engaging to attack top left. More Zerglings, and it's got to be Zerglings here again because of that gas problem. So Drone's going to fall. But upper left, bottom left, is that going to hold? Looks like a lot of mines have been taken out mid-map between all this. Vulture's behind the line. going to make those Zerglings work. And that's also providing time for more Overlords to move up. Queen actually in the red at this stage as the result of all this pressure and these Goliaths able to deal with Overlords wandering too far trying to drop and do mine clearage here. So I think he might need to pull back on the drops and again he had to just rely on Zerglings and Defilers and Ultralisks. Just feels like it's been a furious non-stop orange cloud Mines are going to be able to drag across and close this. And once again, both players dropping to sub-100 supply. Unbelievable. Queen actually plopping down a hatchery underneath this. Command Center floating ahead, just daring Flash to try to get troops across to deal with it. Looks like the Command Center's dropped at the 9 o'clock once again. Vulture's careening in. So basically, I think the plan for Flash here is just throw everything to the upper left. Force Zerglings everything to defend these upper left-hand bases and allow that to go ahead and open up mining at other locations because Queen can't spare additional troops to deal with everything he's throwing out. But this is turning into a campaign mission as Zerglings starting to swarm the siege tanks now in the upper left. Queen sneaking a bit of a supply lead. Are those mines going to go off? And no, the mines get cleared, but they do not end up taking out vultures with it. Queen taking a brief reprieve to go ahead and clear out those SCVs that were mining happily at the 9 o'clock. Still the 12 o'clock <coughs> and 3 o'clock mining for Flash. Vulture's able to dive in. You can see as soon as those Zerglings move to the 9 o'clock to try to deal with any of these extra bases out here, Flash immediately gets some sort of purchase and is able to break through and cr cause frustration on these bases in the upper left. So basically using this upper left where it's like, okay, you go ahead and attack me here at the 9 o'clock. I will continue to frustrate everything you're trying to do with the one bases that, essentially the bases that are keeping you alive. And in this match, Vulture's able to get all the way up to the high ground there. Across the third, Plague now on some of these siege tanks, which will make those Zerglings more useful. Again, still, this has just been constant gas problems for Queen. Because of all of this harassment, siege tanks on the low ground, you can just see that there's just a good amount of... Staggered sea shanks constantly. More reinforcements pouring out that direction. SVs flooding across. Are they going to distance mine with this hatchery on location? It looks like lurkers there might be able to get some free SCV kills as they're making their way that direction. Queen once again being breached at that natural. Three ultralists making their way through, but a cluster of mines able to push that out. Somehow Zerglings able to get through the lines in that overlord and clear out that 12 o'clock base. Let's see if he, Queen can get something down to deal with that 9 o'clock. Flash moving some siege tanks in. And that is a lot of siege tanks. That is, looks like half a control group. The rest of them going to deal with that 12 o'clock. That command center is burning. Forcing a lift off. Oh, I want to see a Queen in the air. There are some drones that need to get for Queen that uh, have been forgotten about that need to get surfaced someplace else. 
Vultures finally moving in. Only three SCVs left at the nine o'clock location. Both players having resource trouble. A sunken colony here. The SCVs that mine bottom left trying to regroup. It looks like Queen sent a single Zergling <coughs> to flood through and deal with everything bottom left. But he's still got trouble at what I'm going to call, what is this, base two? Prime base two? This Nidus Canal has been absolutely huge this entire time to allow Ultralis to be built at basically every other location and get to the front rapidly. Zerglings dropping on the Ford Siege Shanks once again, and this base just feels like it's been on assault for 20 minutes now. How, it is how this hatchery is still alive, I have no idea. Testament to Queen right there. So Queen has opened up, though, with some territory bottom left. Where holding this is a little bit less important. I think he can go ahead and drop this, evacuate it, potentially. Start mining at the six. Start mining bottom left. And this is a much further... The, the reinforcement distance is much... I mean, it's cross-map. And maybe if he can get... A, and this is basically mined out. So, yeah, there's some minerals here for Flash to take. There's some gas there for Flash to take, but Z Z Queen's done some good work to clear out the minerals here, and that gas is depleted. So it's less of a, an issue to take that base. However, he does want to go ahead and disrupt that 3 o'clock. Ultral's diving there. He needs to take down this 9 o'clock. Zergling's diving in. Oh, is that mine going to make it all the way back? Oh, I was going to think... I was wondering if he's going to make it all the way back to the SCV line. So Flash holding these siege tanks here, this might be a tactical blunder. Leaving these siege tanks to deal with stuff in the upper left, while Zero starts establishing bottom left. We'll see. Still trying to drop some Zerglings there at the 12 o'clock. Vultures and Overlords dueling, which is a rare thing to say. We do have more Ultras bottom right, and some reinforcements able to stream their way across Queen's still sitting on the... Yeah, just going with Zerglings to keep cheap and efficient. And Flash now moving in with the rest of the Siege Tanks to wipe out, which honestly, kind of an empty base at this stage. The big hit will be losing even that depleted gas for Queen. So this is basically losing a macro hatch and an Itis Canal at this stage for Queen. I think that's a wise decision to just go ahead and give that territory up. They have to be clever where they're engaging. So Queen grabbing everything in the bottom left. You got a drone waiting to go ahead and grab this. Flash, in the meantime, hurting for minerals. The 12 o'clock's gonna mine out. That 3 o'clock has been mined off and on, but still has some resources in it, so he can go ahead and grab this base at the very least, the natural there. So he's gonna be sitting on... What do I want to call this? I'm gonna call this a half base. So he's gonna be sitting on three and a half bases versus Queen's four. And Queen having more resources just in the bank, however, behind in supply, SCV's having to exit, so now... I'm gonna say two and a half bases. And we- oh, I missed it! Infested Command Center here, cleaning up that nine. And knowing that there's a Queen wandering out here... To deal with that Command Center, Flash is gonna to have to be a little bit more diligent on his defenses. Another Infested Command Center lands, and oh, I would love to see Infested Terrans in this match, especially with the Overlord drops. It's OP late game. This game has everything. This is not what I was expecting with this replay. However, Flash, not done yet. <coughs> Does have a Parasite tank in the midst of this. But this is still a big problem for Queen to handle. However, dropping Infested Terrans on Siege Shanks like this could be an answer. I'm wondering if that is even possible. Well, Flash, rather than going for the hard route through the front, is going to open up the side disruptor on the rear so we can just do a, kind of the parade of Siege Shanks. And man, talk about Siege Shanks. So many Siege Shanks, and currently, Queen's in the red, so has the resources to spend but not the Overlords to provide the defense. So despite taking bottom left, Queen might not be able to defend it. And Flash might be able to salvage the match this way. And as I say that, four Ultralis pushing their way up. Man, they hit hard when they can get on top of the Siege Tanks. However, wow, those Siege Tanks hit hard. They just clear them right out. So two-pronged attack, a bit of a distractionary attack there at the rear, and this... 
the Dark Swarm just makes them so much more usable here. As they're going to clear out everything out on the front. Some Zerglings streaming across to try to deal these Siege Tanks up on the high ground. Drone still mining behind this. Overlords that are empty moving up. If they can clear out these drones, that will be end game for Queen. More Zerglings dying as they're produced. Looking for the Ultralisks to come from the rear, but it looks like they are not coming. So 3 o'clock base, are you kidding me? So SCV's mining at the 3 o'clock. Hatchery taken out, bottom left. Queen is in trouble. Sending out streams of Zerglings. It looks like there are some Defilers and Zerglings. If that Defiler can land, yeah, get that Dark Swarm. Fortunately, it looks like the Zerglings mostly drop first. Still should be sufficient to wipe these Siege Tanks out. More Siege Tanks and Vultures moving across the front, and it does not look like Queen has... Just doesn't have the raw bulk to deal with it. I take that back. Zerglings and Ultralisks streaming across. Flash stutter stepping his way back actually should be able to deal with that easily. So Flash mining at the 3 o'clock, just daring an infested Terran to be produced here. 12 o'clock base he's mining, but that should be mined out shortly, and that natural expansion becoming a key base now for Flash. Just walking his way back, clearing out Ultralisk here at the 36 minute mark. It has been, I don't know, 20 minutes, and both players have been sitting around 100 supply this entire time just because of the furiousness. Queen needs to, yeah, get these hatcheries back up immediately and saturated as quickly as possible. Flash needs to re-establish Siege Tank's Lion and re -stall. He does have a 20 supply lead currently. Lone Extractor depleted upper left. I was hoping there would be a Nidus left up here because that could have been an X-Factor. There's the Infested Terran being produced. Okay, we're going to leave that and once it's produced, we're going to keep an eye on it. Making its way back across, because I, I really want to see that happen. More Zerglings steam, streaming their way across. It looks like the Vulture's finally grouping up upon seeing that command center blink. Zerglings wandering up to go ahead and allow that infested Terran to land. It is produced and takes out a grouping of SCVs. I love it. I love it. Let's see if the command center lifts off. There's nothing that can attack it. Yeah. That might allow Flash to go ahead and re-land here and start continue mining at the 3 o'clock. So Flash on two bases. Queen retaking three bases himself. The 6 o'clock location just about mined out. Some mines that need to be cleared by Hydralisk or something. They're in between. Huge supply lead for Flash. Siege Chinks and Goliaths are regrouping. Ultralisk dropped at the 12 o'clock with some Dark Swarm. Looks like they've been wiped out fairly easily. Queen... Dropping overlords to... Yeah, oh man, look at that micro. To clear those... Uh, to get those mines to clear. 3 o'clock base. Dealing with Zerglings. Being dropped right there. Ultralisks able to get some mine drags, unfortunately, hitting the rear of it. So not taking out vultures. But yeah, I just don't feel like Queen has enough left. As... Uh, Ultralisks and Zerglings are here on the spot, but in a little bit of Dark Swarm, that command center, not long for life. Really nice Dark Swarms and Zergling coverage towards the front to sweep to clear a lot of those siege tanks. But more reinforcements are making their way across the map. That 3 o'clock looks like it's been cleaned up. Flash has basically boxed Queen out. <coughs> He's got him on the southern edge of the map. <clears throat> continue to reinforce with Siege Shanks and just walk his way into the natural in not too long, and that should be it. Looks like a command center also going to float out to get the precious few minerals left there at the third. Few Ultralisks continuing to press in, but without that Dark Swarm, yeah, just short work. So able to take out a few Siege Shanks, but not enough to stem the tide. So Flash being Flash... I think he has sealed this. And now this is an inevitability for Queen. Looks like there was a, another infested command center with a sweep attack to disrupt the 3 o'clock, but that's not stopping the upper left. Maybe with a surgical attack at the top left? 
Nidus Canal desperately being built bottom left here. Flash limping resources in, but he's just got so much mech left. Drone scattering. Hydeville's being produced on the spot. Zergling's trying to scatter. They are able to deal with some siege tanks that are left. Looks like... So wow, this actually might be the game-defining moment here. Do these overlords with the drop get here in time to save some of these drones? Hydralisks have spawned. But the drones... There's only 20 left, and the numbers are dwindling. Overlord's dropping. It looks like that is going to be able to clear what little mech is left, but Queen down to 50 supply. Flash still sitting at 82. Still two siege shakes left in the bottom left. All three hatcheries are up. The command center is now in place, allowing Flash to mine out of those two bases. Wondering if he's going to try to reestablish that third or just continue the assaults bottom left. Drones that were transferring. You can see the Desperation dropping a Dark Swarm just to protect the drones. To allow minerals to get in. 96 minerals left for Queen. 300 in the bank left for Flash. Still more Siege Tanks and Vultures being produced to swarm to the bottom left. A Vulture able to sneak through, continue to get through. And keep in mind, there's also this back alley that can be walked up. Looks like there's a single Lurker trying to deal with all of it. Sea Shanks are... Bur I think this was just a misclick by Flash. Even the best of the best make misclicks here and there. Is he going to comp that and take care of that? Nope. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Queen GG's. Unbelievable match. Queen just didn't have enough drones left, and there was still this uh, Vulture denying the space. <clears throat> what, a f what a battle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Glad that was the one that, uh, as far as getting the game back to the channel... Thank you for listening. Epic match. Incredible.